Hello there, Virgo, and welcome to your Oracle messages for whenever you get this video and it resonates for your situation, regardless of the date and time. Keep in mind, Virgo, that this is a general reading. So if you find the messages, whoa, look at this. What's going on? Oh, Virgo. You guys definitely... Okay, some of you Virgos may have Aries in your chart or fire sign. Uh, you don't have to. I'm only saying that because I'm seeing this uh, message about fallen angel here, spiritual uh, narcolepsy. Some of you guys, there's just, you're forgetting how divine you are. You're forgetting that you guys are part of the divine matrix. I, I don't care where, where you're at in life or how big or small you feel you are. You're definitely an angelic being. A lot of you guys are earth angels, okay? Don't forget, you are not, and the other thing is, is you're not forgotten either, okay? You guys are not forgotten either. Let me see what this is about. See, stars in the sky. Um, I, I feel, you. some of you Virgos, I don't know, right off the bat, maybe you want to look at Aries reading. Some of you guys may have Aries placement in your chart because I feel like this might be the same kind of energy so far. Um, but listen to it if you if you feel don't you know don't overdo it. Stars in the sky, limitless possibility. I'm just seeing this kind of same situation with you, Virgo. About you know something is already written in the sky in the skies and the stars, um, but you may need to open up to possibilities here, right? We may have been triggered or challenged in life that really put us in a state of maybe even hopelessness. Okay, kind of getting star card energy. Maybe some of you guys have Aquarius in your chart. You don't have to. Um, yeah, I know. I, I, you know, I didn't finish the intro. Anyways, um, I say the same thing on every video. It doesn't matter. So I'll just continue because I just want to. Okay, what else for Virgo? You know, I'm seeing this being in this um, divine meditation pose here um, and really connecting to their, to the cosmos here and getting this beautiful energetic alignment. And um, it's almost like a, a, a purifying state as well. You're very connected. A lot of you guys might even resonate not only as an earth angel, but, you know, a star seed, um, you know. Definitely feeling that star seed energy coming through, Virgo. Some of you guys, it's time to release something. Um, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's an outdated belief. Maybe it's a situation, a person. Maybe it's a you know just having to um, release maybe any type of um, you know maybe even trauma or hurt in a situation. I know it's easier said than done uh, for some of you Virgos out there, but I'm looking at the season of autumn. Maybe there's something significant for some of you guys with the season of autumn here, but just as they things release in the autumn, because they have to, right? Um, in order for new growth to happen uh, in the springtime. So it has to go through a period of shedding. So look at it as that, something is shedding, okay? Um, getting that earth energy as well, Virgo here. Let's see, what else for Virgo? Maybe some of you Virgos, not all of you, but maybe some, We there was a situation that we got caught up too much in earthly things and earthly whatever and we've just felt a, a, de a definite maybe disconnect never you're never disconnected but you just feel in like this sense of disconnect here with this fallen angel again it just takes a moment of you guys to just be in this state and i just i just see a state of bliss here when you guys do center yourself and get fo focus and get that cosmic energy that is um really necessary I feel for a lot of your guys's energy because of how sensitive you are what else for Virgo and start dreaming again too, Virgo don't be afraid to dream you know <clears throat> don't be afraid to dream there's something about childhood home here remember where you're from and who you really are very interesting do you know what this is really about this is really about 
not forgetting remember what the first card is fallen angel you are an angel don't forget who you really are Sometimes it is hard to fall into the earthly realm and, you know, go through these things and have to deal with, you know, situations and circumstances, but you were built for it. You, you have a great purpose here too. Don't forget that. Okay. Isn't this funny? It says spiritual uh, narcolepsy and you, it says, remember where you're, where you're from and who you really are. Maybe for some of you guys, there could be something here about childhood home. But I'm really getting this sense of you guys connecting to the cosmic source and getting your blueprint reignited within you so that you guys do remember where you really come from. It's from a higher, um, a higher realm. Definitely. Definitely. This is why it's difficult for you guys. It's, uh, sometimes it's why it's difficult to really manifest desires because we... Um, <laughs> We've definitely, a lot of you guys as earth angels, as star seeds, definitely have had um, probably one, a very challenging childhood or upbringing in some aspect of your life, okay? Um, it, was only, it was only meant to happen to really unfold um, the greatness that's really within you. You guys are definitely... Um, uh, tapped in uh, strongly <laughs> into the universe and have favor in the universe as well okay what else for Virgo I'm just looking at this release with childhood home here maybe it is about releasing some um, old wounds or there's something here with you know the past releasing the past but not forgetting where you come from. What else uh, for Virgo? Yeah, grounding tree. I was getting this earth energy here. You guys, there may be a need to just really ground yourself, but it's almost like you grounding yourself. Look at the stars in the sky here and look at the reflection on the tree and the grounding. Um, it's like, you know, whatever is going on internally is actually materializing. And, and this is about standing strong, going and growing in the right direction up. Okay. But never forgetting, you know, this tree is about also your roots. I mean, look at all these trees here too. Maybe there is a, a definitely, uh, maybe a, a connection with the tree of life for some of you guys. Um, yeah, remember where you're from and who you really are. Stay grounded in, in who you really are. Don't forget that you guys definitely are um, an energy uh, that has a lot to offer for a lot of, um, a lot of people uh, that are on your path here. Okay, what else for Virgo? vulnerability yeah this may be a time look at this we're even getting the galaxy here milky way perspective this is about possibilities opening yourselves up to um more possibilities than what you guys are doing right now or currently because you know there are challenges that happen that really put us in a state of um you know questioning everything okay but I do see this as about surrender, release, and, and being vulnerable right now, okay? There's a lot, a lot of growth happening with this. Maybe I do see something about going out into nature. For, I mean, uh, for some of you guys, if you guys can and, and, and the weather allows you to, um, wherever you're at in the world, um, or maybe even looking at nature here. You know, it's just like these these flowers, they're very vulnerable staying, you know, in, out in the open here, but they have to trust, right? They have to trust that they're going to get the, the nurturing light that they need to grow, to prosper, to be healthy. 
here you are a tree you guys are de definitely rooted strong don't forget that okay what else for uh virgo look at that um yeah see well song resonating there's some type of opening some breach here i see big uh, achievements here but look at this closing a door completion look at this and we have this card of release you guys are going to know what it what exactly what that is talking about close that door right or there is a door that is uh, closing right now for completion and it's been very challenging for a lot of you guys but something is coming into perspective here we have to remember where you guys are from and you guys are doing something there's just something that is resonating within your soul here okay don't forget oh my god i just get so much wisdom uh with that whale some of you guys it's hearing your song hearing your blueprint maybe even hearing others that are like you okay you're not alone Let's see. Some of you guys may be singers. There may be something here with music. What else for uh, Virgo? Compassion. I'm, I'm looking at this resonating whale song. Compassion. Passion. I mean, we got compassion and passion. Something is resonating on a spiritual level here, but we got to rise up into the possibilities here. You can't forget your connection. Don't forget where you guys come from. Fallen angels, passion, some type of passion. There's something about compassion and passion and love here. <laughs> Okay, something is resonating for you. But we do have to release something and we have to stay vulnerable for this to resonate with us. Some of you guys may be going through a really um, deep emotional period right now, going really, really deep, right? And then coming up for air here. There may be something here for dancing um, as well for some of you Virgos. What else for Virgo? Hey, okay. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. See? You guys are you guys are gonna have a true love situation look at that I didn't even look at it when I was reading this and we have compassion love you're resonating on a soul level here okay with a true love situation it's passion and compassion and it's resonating because it's true love and I'm really getting this religious factor it's about it's about a higher level of um connection here a more like a deep connection a very what feels very spiritual and because we do have this religious factors there may be something significant for some of you um virgos out there right that love life your love life is influenced by you know upbringing religious upbringings and spiritual path because i see you guys closing a door um and opening your guys's self up to uh, a, a, a limitless possibility here look at this true love what else yeah this is a romance of a lifetime and see passion i should have put those together there resourcefulness 
So this may be a time, um, look at this, we have a lot of um, earthly things here. This may be a time to really uh, conserve and reserve your energy and also your resources, including money, things that, um, you know, uh, because what I see is it, you know, you using your resources wisely here and protecting what you need to protect. Um, but what what's happening is it's also going to expand and it's also going to amplify and multiply later by doing this work now, okay? More like um, earth energy here. What else for a uh, Virgo? Looking at all that green, Virgo. Oh, oh my God. Something majorly healing for you as well. And also, I just see this um, energy, vitality energy coming back. And look what came, you know, when we're talking about being resourceful, right? Because it's only going to multiply and amplify. And look what came out the Wheel of Fortune. New beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction. Look at this, a change in the direction, right? Closing a door, a change in direction that offers happiness. So I do see some, remember, Virgo, this is a time to really use your resources wisely. A lot of you guys may come into a lot of money, so, um, or something that's really going to be um, <clears throat> very fruitful for you in the future. So you may just, you think about it, you want to protect this, okay? <clears throat> because it is going to multiply later. So conserve, reserve, do wise things with it. You guys are having a new beginning. Um, offers happiness, happiness in finances and money and in true love here. A romance of a lifetime, wheel of fortune. Look at this, look at this, completion, boom. Turn of events. Wow, what else for Virgo? Hold on, what is this way? Hold on. Bridge. Stay strong and remain connected to what is important to you. Remember, wherever you guys need, and remember we were talking about uh, resources are coming your way. Wheel of Fortune. Where, wherever you guys need a new road or a bridge, whatever you guys need, stay true to your path. Stay true to what's important to you and things will show up for you. Stars in the sky. What else for Virgo? Wow. There, okay, reconnect. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this, look at this. We have um, reconnect with your innocence. We have baby. So remember, uh, you know what? Where is it that I'm looking for? Oh, childhood home. Yeah, there was something about, see, remember where you're from. Spirit wants you to come back. You know, the, this fall, you know, the other thing is release any guilt, worries, shame. I don't care what you ha guys have done. It doesn't matter. Releasing yourself, freeing yourself is the most important because you guys are being blessed with good things coming your way. Okay. Maybe it's just a release of, you know, whatever it is, you guys are going to know what it is for you, but <clears throat> remember who you really are. Reconnect with your innocence. And I feel getting grounded, um, will help you guys maybe dancing, maybe getting in water, doing something here, connecting to the cosmos. It will lift your spirits and bring you back to that sense of innocence. And maybe for some, there's something with a home, with a baby here as well, okay? Getting the resources that you need to take care of the loved ones that, that you care for. What else for Virgo?
some of you guys um, may need to release a lot of duties or obligations or you may need to take a rest from work there's something that you're working hard at here and there may be something here too for some of you guys where whether it's emotional mental or physical you're carrying something or someone that is that feels like a dead weight that feels like a heavy burden um, but I do see a lot of you guys, this is about exhaustion for some, tired, working too hard or too many um, hours, the need for balance in life, right? Come back to your sense of innocence here. Health problems due to stress. Yeah, see, this is the thing I was picking up. Maybe some of you guys have been so focused on your work or, you know, just, you know, earthly things here, right? And we can get a little overwhelmed and kind of uh, feel disconnected at times, which is fine. It's normal. It happens. Okay. Um, it's like someone just doesn't know where to begin. We just, we're so tired. So, um, and notice we have another 10 here. So another thing about completion a release okay what else for virgo fire sign coming through with that ten of wands virgo the other thing virgo with this wheel of fortune limitless possibility perspective you know this is with what's going on right now right with this will of fortune hope for the best always prepare always have you know some type of readiness for something bad or the worst i don't want to say the worst to happen but um i see this is going in your favor anyways virgo but it is about you got to shift your focus you've got to it might be it might feel like effort and work to navigate your thoughts uh to be um <clears throat> more about possibility or just stay in an attitude of gratitude, whatever you can um, to just refocus yourself on taking care of you and what's possible, okay? I do see a need to just kind of replenish your energy here. What else for Virgo? Look at this hair font is coming out wise counselor this is what i get unity with the spiritual uh with a spiritually minded community remember this fallen angel yeah a lot of you guys are wise counselors uh you're definitely uh guides or angel you know earth angels light workers ask the divine for help and trust answers will come look at this stars in the sky you earth angels compare traditional method with new okay compare traditional methods with new ideas just just to see which is best for you that may resonate for some of you guys uh, because i do see something about <clears throat> closing a door um looking at other possibilities um yeah so taurus energy is coming through we've got two keys here there is a situation look at this look at this true love with the religious factors and this the hair font wise counselor um some of you guys may end up in a, um, a marriage with this person with this true love situation um it's and i i just was noticing these two keys here okay i see two um two people that really resonate with each other you guys really resonate with each other i see um because I feel for some of you Virgos, you may have been in a situation that you felt your light was being dimmed, you know, or your energy was being drained, okay? Take care of your energy, all right? You've got a good situation coming. You've got to trust this. This is definitely divine um, timing, divine guidance, divine intervention here. Stay true to your path. Remember, this is definitely this energy with this wise counselor stay strong and remain connected to what is important to you okay yep oh, i don't know how this one's they want here okay let's see what else for virgo
my gosh, Empress, beautiful. Time to take action, get, oh my goodness, this is so weird. I'm saying it's weird because it's like, okay, you got the Empress here and we have it with <clears throat> childhood home and on top of the baby <laughs> card and she's holding a baby unicorn. So it's like spirit is really um, holding you guys like babies right now. I mean, they always have. Um, yeah, you're definitely being protected. Okay. Because I definitely see the divine father and the divine mother um, in the universe really taking care of you. Some of you guys, you need to um, open yourself up to um, new ideas, maybe new creative things for you that can help relieve stress for some of you guys. Um, and you guys need to know, I think a lot of you guys have been working hard and you are definitely this Empress energy. Um, and you need to know that things are going in your favor and you've got a lot of success here. Look at this, abundance and prosperity. Yeah, you know, you got the Wheel of Fortune here with this Empress. Mm hmm limitless possibility here. Wow, I'm seeing a very um, beautiful energy here. Take care and nurture yourself, okay? What else for um, Virgo? Taurus Libra energy showing up here. I definitely see for those Virgos wanting a significant long-term partner or companion with that true love and the Empress, um, the Wheel of Fortune here, wise counselor, definitely see that uh, definitely happening, okay? Oh my goodness, you can't even, you can't, look, the Emperor. I was just like talking about the freaking true love card. This is very, very, very profound and deep and big and spiritual. It's worth protecting. It's worth going after. It's worth closing a door. Some of you guys, you may need to right now, because I'm seeing this thing, you know, where we may have been losing hope or faith or we're just feeling a little unorganized. Um, logic and organization will increase your success. So take charge of a situation and accept a leadership role. You guys are designed to be leaders. You're designed, a lot of you guys, um, you know, with this religious factors or just you being, um, you know, someone that is a guiding light for others um, and how that really, you know, resonates for you. But yeah, I definitely see you guys. Wow, there's a powerful thing here happening. There may be a need for structure and discipline right now, okay? And I do see that because we have this card of resourcefulness. And you, 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 again, be mindful of the things that come to you, right? It's just like this cactus is surviving. What else for Virgo? You've got, I mean, look at this. I can't even, this is a very divine uh, partnership as well for those Virgos seeking that. I see that definitely. Aries energy is coming through. Um, some of you guys, it may just, you may need to just kind of take charge of your, your life right now with where you're at and what you can control, okay? And just start with that. Uh, but make sure you guys are taking time to recuperate, re-energize, maybe if you can delegate duties and responsibilities or just give them up completely because it's not bringing you happiness. It's just bringing some of you guys more stress and, and being more and just being tired. <clears throat> There's going to be a gift coming towards you and it's very, very true. You got the wheel of fortune. We have the, um, the hair font here. We have the, I mean, there's just so much. Empress and the emperor energy. Be present in the present moment. Okay, that's, that's very, very significant. You've got to stay in the present moment. Keep your eye, well, yeah. It's like keep your eyes uh, forward. Um, you know, just try to be as positive as much as possible. It's going to go in your favor. It is going to go in your favor. Okay. Don't lose sight. Don't lose hope. Look at this airplane. 
There may be something here with a gift of travel here for some of you guys. Spread your wings and fly. I'm like getting the Eight of Wands energy coming through for some of you guys. There may be something with uh, with travel for some of you guys, but I do see this as you taking off and I'm having a lot of possibilities. And look at that. We've got limitless possibility. I feel that you guys are going to open yourselves up to really being vulnerable, releasing the past. And what this does is it puts you in the state of so many possibilities. And you guys are going to fly again. Look. You're gonna fly again. Spread your wings and fly. You can't make this up here. I'm gonna pick you guys up myself if I have to. What's this card? We got repairing the body. Look at this, me talks. Look at this, and this was left over here. That's why I noticed it. Um, where is my deck at? Oh, it's right here. Repairing the body, mind, and spirit. This is really, look at this. <laughs> it's time for me time. And I can see it with the Empress and the Emperor energy. Time for me time, right? Reconnect with your innocence. Reconnect with your innocence, you guys. I know life throws you things and it, it can get a little, you know, challenging. I know. Repairing your bo body, mind, and spirit is so imperative right now. Do what you got to do. Maybe it's a bubble bath. You know, do these little things. Indulge in like little luxuries of life. Bubble baths, candles, light candles up. Uh, do skincare, like, you know, do a mass, the spa day. I'm not trying to say. Get a massage if you can. Um, I mean, obviously, you don't have to spend money on yourself, but do spend a little money on yourself if you can. I mean, this is about detoxing me talks, but this is about me time. What else for a uh, Virgo? Yeah, look at this. We're going, and it even landed on resourcefulness. This was what we were talking about earlier about conserving. Not only, you know, I want to say this too conserve your energy. It's going to be very important because there's going to be a lot of, probably a lot of action and momentum going on. <clears throat> because I see you guys really releasing something, completing something, and we got this wheel turning, and it's boom, a uh, possibility start popping up out of the blue, out of the woodwork. You didn't even see him coming here. Um, resourcefulness, horned cactus. Look at this, four of pentacles. When you give, you also receive, okay? So it is, what, whatever you're giving to yourself, right? W what was that message? Me talks, give to yourself, repair yourself. Do things that honor and nurture you because that's what's, at, oh, that's what's gonna come out. That's what you're gonna receive. Being resistance to change, remember, you guys, something Virgo here, we have that release card. There may be a thing about resisting change here, okay? And there is something here about extremes and how you save and spend your money. <laughs> so not only is it about money, but again, being resourceful, okay? Um, not taking things for granted either at this time. At this time, things are going to multiply for you, okay? There may be a need to uh, watch how you're spending and, and budgeting here for some of you guys. Um, and also, because that Four of Pentacles can also be a card of, you know, hanging on to things and clinging on to things, um, trying to, you know, control an outcome, we, you know, it's not going to go in your favor if you do that, okay? It's just going to make things um, a lot more difficult. Uh, what else for Virgo? Okay, that's it for Virgo. So let's find out, how is Spirit helping Virgo? How is Spirit helping Virgo? You're definitely a precious energy, Virgo, and I don't want you guys to forget that, okay? And you're definitely not forgotten in the stars, in the cosmos, and in the heavens. What else for... Oh, this is how Spirit's helping you, Virgo. I got a little lost there. <laughs> how Spirit is helping Virgo. Taking action. 
taking the right action. I love it. Yeah, taking action in, in the right things, uh, getting organized, um, absolutely. Something is really um, happening for you. You've got to trust. Trust. Spirit is helping you guys take action and, and doing the right things in the right direction. I just have to show you something. Notice that's a unicorn. And here you are, you little earth angel flying. Remember, you're flying again. Uh, what did I what did I show you guys? Look at the Empress. Look at the Empress. <laughs> she's she's caring for a little baby unicorn. My goodness. Yeah. You guys um, stay true to your path and don't worry. OK, uh, keep your eyes in the sky. Things things are happening on your behalf here. OK, love and light. Take care.